So in class, we've been talking about different methods for dating the age of the earth. What mm -hmm. do you know about that topic? Okay. There's a lot of dating methods that are used. Like carbon-14 is one of them that's kind of an early uh, point of reference. And it goes between about 1,000 years and 24,000 years. <clears throat> There's other types of nuclear methods that overlap that. Maybe it'll go like between 10,000 and 100,000. And then another one might overlap that and go from 100,000 to a million years. <clears throat> and for instance, uh, uranium is often, its half-life is about 500 million years. It's a real long period. And so they can take rocks that are on the moon or on the earth and they can see the half-life of uranium or other minerals like that. And they can see how old, let's say these rocks are like billions of years old. <clears throat> but the half-life is mostly explained by the actual uh, material that's inside let's say carbon-14, there's a, a bunch of carbon atoms and they change to a different form, which I can't remember what it is now. But when half of the carbon atoms change to that form within the rock, then that's called the half-life. And so I, I, let's say the half-life of carbon-14 might be, let's say 2,000 years. <clears throat> so in 2,000 years after um, this carbon-14 is formed, then half of those atoms will be changed over into a different mineral. And then in another 2,000 years, half of those will be changed over. So they can tell by how many of the atoms are left as to how old something is scientifically. Very neat. Thank you. Okay.